What's up guys, welcome back to welcome back to another video and in today's video we are back with the E92 on 3 You guys saw in the last video we got the fender on there, the bumper on there, the fitment's absolutely perfect And believe it or not, I didn't mention in the last video, there's two zip ties on this side Reason being is because when you buy the fender from BMW, you don't actually get the bracket that's on the fender I got the bracket that's for the bumper off of the original bumper But my, obviously the bracket that was on my fender was completely destroyed So yeah, I need to find the part number for that I honestly I honestly cannot find it anywhere. If any of you guys can help me get that part number of the part that goes right over here where the bumper attaches to the fender. It's basically like some kind of little bracket piece so you can put in two screws. So yeah, I need that. But other than that, guys, this whole assembly is looking really, really, really good. We are going to be also heading down to Rancho Crudo, which is about 30 minutes away to pick up some fender line. Yeah, I finally found an M3 with some fender line. The whole thing for about 70 bucks, which is a really, really, really good deal because on eBay, just the front portion is like 80 bucks. And uh, the rear portion is like 80 bucks, 160 bucks, so 70 bucks just considering a little bit of a drive, definitely worth the time. And while I was at Rachel Cordova, I ended up picking up a curtain airbag. Guys, these airbags go for about $200 on eBay before tax. Um, probably with shipping, so um, probably like 220 after tax. I got this for 107 in Rancho Cordova. Rancho Cordova's got a bunch of parts recycle places. You can get, sometimes get a really good deal. For example, like this airbag. I got this off at 335. It's the exact same airbag that goes onto this. It's the E92 airbag, so it's the same exact thing, but I didn't have to pay the M tax on that. And this beautiful baby right here, I don't know if you guys can see the, the emblem and everything, but it looks so, so, so good. And this one's in really mint shape. I don't know if you guys can see over here, but I actually have an airbag right here with the steering wheel, but this airbag is missing the uh, emblem over here. So I really wanted something that had the original emblem and a really, really, really clean horn because that interior, I don't know if you guys can see it in person, but this interior is in really good shape. Like the leather is smoother than my F80 leather. Like this leather is really, really, really nice. And again, I just want everything to look super mint in this car. So I ended up picking this up from eBay just because, you know, we're on the road to perfection and I really want this thing to be perfect. So yeah. So first things first, um, let's go ahead and replace that airbag because that's quick and easy. It'll, it'll just give us more space. That airbag is taking a lot of space in the driver's side. And then obviously we need to remove this and remove the headliner. Now the headliner, I'm probably going to take it down to LMD Solutions. I tried finding like an M Sport or like an E92 anywhere with headliner. Um, all the E92s that I found with headliner, they happen to be the one without the sunroof. I have the sunroof, so mine's pretty much the same as like a 335 IS, the same as like a 335 M Sport, a 328 M Sport, or you know, an E92 M3 M Sport, but I cannot find that headliner absolutely anywhere. So I'm probably gonna take this headliner and get rebuilt to these solutions. So let's go ahead and get that headliner off, get that airbag out, replace everything, and possibly clear the airbag light. I think that'd be super sick if we get that airbag light off the car.
Alrighty guys, we finally got the headliner out. This was the side that the airbag deployed on. Once I actually removed it out of the car, um, there's not much damage. There's a little bit of a rip there, which I don't think you'll be able to see that anymore. Um, the major rip is right there next to the handle, uh, but the biggest issue obviously is this crease mark. I don't think this crease mark is fixable. Um, I, let me know down below guys if it is or not. Normally, I would just throw this back into the car because these go for like $800 and this honestly, for the most part, will look pretty good. But since it is a clean title, you gotta treat it like a clean title. <laughs> I say that a lot with this build in particular because again, if it's salvage, I mean, you're not gonna get your money's worth if you spend $800 on a headliner, so it's just not worth it. Um, but end of the day, honestly, I think I'm gonna run this until we actually go down to like SSR Performance. And SSR Performance, I don't know if you guys know who Straight Part 6 is, but they actually have headliners down there. And I'm thinking about driving this car down there with this headliner in the car. Once we get there, we'll toss this headliner and we'll throw in the new headliner or something. We forgot out some kind of plan. But yeah, there's no one locally selling that headliner, so uh, we're just gonna have to rock it for now but hopefully when we get down to LA as uh, straight part six has a couple of them I don't want to pay the shipping because it's like $250 if we could just pick it up locally for cheap that would be the way to go but before putting any of this stuff in of course we have to remove the old airbag now a small little neat trick for uh for actually I just remembered oh man we have to get something to put this airbag in so we're gonna have to head out in a little bit um but five hours later so uh remember when I told you guys it's not gonna be messy it's gonna be pretty easy I was completely wrong. This is actually a pain in the butt still. So I'm using the biggest drill bit that I have. Um, but for some reason, I don't know what I'm doing differently. It's harder this time. I, I really don't know. Anywho, what I'm doing is that I'm drilling out the big circle of the rivet off. And then I pretty much grind off the rest of the rivet using just the regular drill. So that's what I'm doing. Um, so uh, yeah. Three days later. So yeah, guys, all of this happened. Uh, <laughs> This was absolutely a mission to get off. I thought I got the hang of it, guys, but uh, no, I did not. So at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and clean up all the dirt that's around here because it looks like an absolute mess, but um, yeah, I wish I could say it was pretty easy. This was a pain in the butt. And about a few hours later, guys, now I'm about, and about 30 minutes later, this is how the car came out. <laughs> super, super, super clean. Honestly, that Walmart vacuum got for 30 bucks on Black Friday is absolutely amazing. Honestly, if I did some of the carpet cleaner, this would have came out so, so, so good. I probably could have even done the lines as well, but I got all of that metal sharding um, from the rivets gone completely. So that is really, really, really nice. Obviously, I'm gonna go through a full interior detail um, probably when we get this whole car together or before we go to LA. We'll see, we'll see. Meantime is we need to get this current airbag back in. So let's go ahead and find a place that has those rivets and uh, probably could pick up those wheel guards while we're at it. And guys, we just got back from AutoZone. So a lot of you guys in the last video said, I don't actually have to use rivets when I was doing the 335 IS. I tried half of it rivets, half of it these clips. And honestly, these clips hold up really, really, really good. This actually, like it's almost impossible to remove these once they're in the car. They're kind of like rivets, but they're but they're plastic rivets and it doesn't need any special tools to get that in there. But yeah, guys, let's go ahead and just throw on this new airbag so we can put the headliner back in and have a complete interior. And hopefully, hopefully this airbag light will go away. Just like that, guys, you have the whole airbag back in there, sitting pretty. Um, at this point, we could clear the lights and see if the airbag light's still there, or we could just put on the headliner and then clear it so we're 100% satisfied when it's all put back together. Um, this is very risky stuff here. Now, normally, I would tell you guys, first, check it, plug in the battery, make sure that everything is gravy in the Navy, make sure there's no more airbag light before you put together the headliner, but for me, because of my confidence in myself and my work, I'm gonna go ahead and put on the headliner. I hope I don't regret this.
guys, it's officially complete. We got the curtain airbag inside. We got the driver's airbag inside, which means we should be able to just clear the lights and we're good to go. That, that is some pretty exciting stuff. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we don't have any other issues with the seat buckles. Ah, uh, uh, actually, we might have a seat buckle issue. So look at the passenger side. That seat buckle is good, but that one's normally good. Oh my God, my heart's beating. On the other side, guys, that could be another reason why we have an airbag light. This seems to be fine, but come on, please God, please, please. Yup. Oh, you guys can see that one's tucked in compared to the other side. This one's not as tucked in. That's because this one blew in the accident. That's unfortunate. I thought we're gonna be able to clear the airbag light. This seems to be good as well. So the seat belts are good. Like the 335 IS, the current airbag deploy, uh, deployed. Um, this obviously deployed as well. That deployed. Uh, seat buckle deployed and the tensioner. In this car, which is the curtain, the tensioner, that airbag, and that. So we're good on the seat belt at least. So um, yes, we're gonna have to cop a seatbelt tensioner in the near future completely forgot about this i always forget about this little guy but guys check out this interior this is oh my god guys like i can't stress how beautiful the e90 chassis interior is this is absolutely gorgeous i love the red interior i definitely want to be looking out for an extended red leather dashboard i think that'd be super sick to get in a car like this they are super rare to find the extended leather um center console and dash if i ever find them i'm definitely throwing it in this car let me know down below guys what's your favorite m car but i think it's time for a clean cinematic. Just like that, guys, this video is officially over. Hopefully in the next episode, we're gonna be getting some more of the suspension components in. I'm literally just waiting on that subframe. That subframe is absolutely ridiculous. I paid about $200 to ship the subframe, and on top of the fact that I already paid him $200 to ship it, he shipped it out four days late, and he shipped it through FedEx, which is the absolute worst carrier to ship anything through, in my opinion, right now, because FedEx just has a lot of like employee shortages, and they're just having huge delays. So yes, we are waiting on that stuff frame because we cannot assemble a single, single thing down there until we get that stuff frame in. But hopefully, if we get it this Friday, we're gonna be able to fully assemble this section right here. As you guys can see, we got a brand new knuckle. That was our old knuckle. We got a used knuckle. The knuckles go for a lot of money brand new. I think like four or 500 bucks. You can get a used one, which is just as fine. It's not like you can wear and tear this thing. As long as there's no cracks or bends, which this one does not have, we are good. So this one I got for like 150 bucks. Um, we ended up getting a used sway bar end length because again, that doesn't matter. Sway bar end lengths or sway bar end lengths, they don't really uh, serve that big of a purpose. As long as it's functional, it is functional. This came off of an M3, so we are graving the Navy. But now the tie rod, boys. We got a brand new tie rod right here, and we got a brand new control arm right here. As you guys can see, OEM BMW, OEM BMW, and this one uh, is OE, but is another control arm brand new. So we got all these ones because we got bushings and stuff. That's important. We got all those brand new. We also got a matching Michelin tire. I ended up picking this thing up used for like $200. Yes, Michelin Michelin's are that expensive for one tire. And we have the rim right here, guys. So yeah, guys, as soon as that subframe comes in, we're gonna be able to mount literally the entire suspension, literally everything, and we should be able to get the car driving same video, which would be absolutely insane. This entire section will get the car on the ground and driving in one video. So hopefully that video will be coming soon. Again, we're just waiting on the part, and it looks like we're gonna have to buy a seatbelt tensioner, but that's not the end of the world.